How are you? Thank you for having me. It's been great. Hey, you know what? This is our ritual. No. <laughs> You're gonna open the, the beer with a with your hand. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. You guys down? A really loose country. Yeah. Up she goes! Yeah. We've been traveling around the world looking for the best skate cities. Cities that are fun to skate in and just as fun to live in. And I just so happen to live in one. Los Angeles. This being the birthplace of skateboarding and the almost perfect year-round weather means that a lot of skateboarders live here. Maybe more so than any other city in the world. But there's a place, just four hours down the freeway, with the same weather conditions and a hell of a lot of untapped skateboarding potential. Tijuana, Mexico. I borrowed a skate van from Tim Cicilino. Thanks, Tim. I picked up legendary skate filmer and all-time hype man, Beagle. Beagle was up late at Theodos' birthday party late the night before and slept right through his alarms. Baker bro Cyril Jackson went to his house and rounded him up. Cyril's an absolute maniac, and I love it. We also scooped up Nashville transplant and Baker teammate, D. Getting into Mexico was a breeze. We flew down the freeway, hit a little traffic at the border, they took a quick look in the back of the van and waved us through. We drove straight to Satan's Skate Shop. Uh, I've been out here probably about five years. Been to Guadalajara, Cabo San Lucas, Tecate, and Sanada, but TJ is definitely the best. George is awesome. He's originally from California, but has been living and skating in Mexico for about a decade. If we want a drink, we gotta be on the beach. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's do it then. It's right there. We got all kinds of people swarming, trying to get across. Those who make it, make it. Those who don't end up living here forever. So, it's cool. Paul Flores doesn't live down here, but his family's from Mexico, and he knows a ton about this place. We had a sick support squad from all the shop homies around making sure we were dialed in for the whole weekend. Um, we're gonna go to downtown. We're gonna get to have the fuck so up. So sophisticated, look at him. We're and going to be entering downtown shortly. We will be entering downtown <laughs> shortly. <laughs> we're gonna go downtown, dude. We're gonna fucking party, dude. Eventually, we will be having a few drinks. <laughs> Having a white woman drive your van is basically a get out of jail free card here in Mexico. There's checkpoints at any time of day, and if you're a bunch of stinky dudes in a shitty van, expect to be stopped and searched. Tell the fuck you you're Donald Trump niece. Tell them my fucking uncle is Donald Trump. You want to fucking nuke Mexico? Fuck with me. Hola. Uh, not yet. Pero nosotros sí. On our way. Downtown. Gracias. Damn. That's right, girl, right, 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 right. We brought a van down so we could pile the crew in all together and get around. This isn't a city where you can just skate from spot to spot. You can also drive to the border, ditch your car, skate across, and take taxis the whole time. Taxis, definitely taxis. They've got routed taxis that you could just hop on. It's less than a dollar. Uh, you could get across the city, or you could always Uber. Hey, wait. How you guys doing? We're out here in TJ. We're at the Hotel Quinta Inn on Revolution Street. We're partying with the Chuco crew, Baker Boys. Is this the fucking, is this the street to party on? Yeah, this, not really. No? Fuck no. We want to go to the strip where it's paid off by the mob, you know? That, they don't fuck with you there. So you can't fuck with nobody because they're fucking with your money if they arrest you. What? Where's that? That's where we're going to fucking go. Where, uh, where is it? What's it called? We're, I don't fucking know the street. I just know there's bitches on every oh, side. Yeah. Zona Centro is TJ's downtown. It's just a few minutes from the border and it pops off. It's got skate spots, but you come to Zona Centro to party. They've got cheap hotels right in the mix with all the restaurants, dive bars, strip clubs, and Satan's Skate Shop. We're here at Satan's Skate Shop. This is a spot where you want to come get your boards, you know, maybe a nice shirt, chueco. <laughs> So 
fucking He's special. Got it. <laughs> oh god, let's do it. Just don't put your hand in his face. That's all he said. This is as much as I want to hold him. I don't want to. I don't want to like move too gnarly. You come here, smoke a joint, drink a beer, talk with some stories. There's some people here who speak English, so always have a good time. The neighborhoods outside of downtown are affordable and riddled with unlimited untouched skate spots. Got to skate that big ass double set. CJ almost did some shit. So that was tight. <laughs> it's cool because it's crusty as fuck. Look at the ground. Boom. Every answer you need. All on one pavement. Oh my God. George's house is three stories with a backyard, a giant rooftop deck, and ocean views for only $550 a month. Not a bad place to go home to after cruising around and finding a bunch of new skate spots all day. Get your rhymes out. Everybody knows what I'm about. Damn. No flows right now. Cut all that out. I was really considering hitting up a bunch of dudes to split a skateboarder getaway mansion for escaping LA every once in a while. Until I saw George's neighbor beating her husband's truck to death across the street with a baseball bat. Fuck. This is crazy. Hey, yo, give me the bat. Give me the bat. Damn, it's lit. Maybe it's just best to visit. The beaches of Tijuana are basically the same beaches you're gonna find in Malibu or LA or San Diego, just a short drive south. The only difference is you can get a beachfront apartment that sleeps four for $29 a night and a delicious Mexican feast for only a couple of bucks. I just give that guy $10 American money to watch the van so that we could go eat some tacos. I live here. I've never given him more than 10, never more than 50 cents and it's difficult <laughs> to watch the car. <laughs> difference between this Mexican and this Mexican. <laughs> the first nigga has a red. Con amor y pasión. Con permiso, yo quiero una taco de asada. ¿No más? You hear that? My Spanish is good, he says. I don't need to drink. But I dare you. And Paul? They're hyped! You hooked them up! About 15 minutes south of the Playas de Tijuana is Rosarito, a touristy beach zone with tons of fun. You can shop for all sorts of stupid souvenir shit you don't need, and there's plenty of excellent restaurants and affordable hotels on the beach. Hell yeah, I smoke Cuban they got ganja. It. They got it, I got Cuban cigar. You wanna see? Oh, no, I saw you. I only smoke trees. Hey, you want a free shot of tequila? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Free shot of tequila, let's go. What, okay. that tequila? Yeah. This is how they do it. Yeah. This is how they do it in Tijuana. No, that one is from Oaxaca. Oh, from Oaxaca. where? Oaxaca. Okay. Mm. Where, where's where? the tequila from? Yeah. yeah. Come on in, girl. Yeah. Oh. With the beautiful ladies out here in Mexico, man. Y'all know how hey, we do it. I put your picture in it. Oh, thank you. Look. <coughs> that's awesome. And that's going to be me. That's going to be me. They have a picture with Niger. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they, come, they, they come Niger. With Niger? Yeah, yeah I know Niger. They, they, they have a picture, but they don't put right there. They, you, you, you are better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And 
You can also ride horses on the beach during sunset for $12. I'm about to ride these donkeys, man. Underlay, underlay, woo! And I can't tell you how fun it is to gallop down the beach on a horse at sunset with a bunch of your friends. It's fucking epic. And you can also buy fireworks and blast off right there on the beach before you head into the nightlife. We're about to take like four of those mortars apart and put them back together into one. That's going to be one mega mortar. Ow! Look at like this, fool. Oh my Jesus. god! <laughs> Up she goes! Yay. And if you go just another 15 minutes south, you'll find Puerto Nuevo, the lobster capital of Baja. I've been coming to this place for like 31 years. My, my dad's brought me here. Uh, it's just a place you go to. It's like really, really authentic. Mexican food, you're gonna get homemade tortillas, beans, rice, and then unlimited fucking lobster for like the, the low low. This tiny fishing village has only a few hundred residents, but a world famous reputation for freshly caught and deliciously prepared lobster at prices as low as they get in North America or elsewhere. No skate spots here. Shit, let's see. Uh, I just like TJ. I like being all around TJ. It's like a whole DIY city. Like everything is trite, built from scratch. Got some Mad Max spots. Fucking barbaric metal shit. Oh, it's barely blowing up. Sometimes I feel like things out here are a little bit delayed, but uh, everybody's getting, like the momentum is picking up for uh, skateboarders out here. It's pretty cool. This last year, we had a guy who actually knows, who's actually skateboarded before make the park. So it was cool to get him to make a few of the ones, just like San Angel. You ready to be yeah. fucking king of the demo, my dude? Dude, I'm about to fuck some shit up. <laughs> and like, I feel bad because like these dudes just come here to skate and like have fun, but it's not about that. So you're about to leave this park. I want to win. I'm coming here <laughs> to win. <laughs> Digo's mucho famoso. <laughs> mucho famoso.
Thanks, babe. Nice D. T foot. What you got there? You know what I mean? A little taco. I hope you like Mexican food because that's exactly what they have here yeah. everywhere. And it's perfect. Exactly as it's supposed to be. I didn't see one restaurant from food from another country the entire time I was down there, and that was fine by me. If anyone knows how to make Mexican food, it's the Mexicans in Mexico. Uh, hey, who wants bacon wrap hot dog? The lobster spot. What the fuck is that place called? Oh, dude, I forgot what it's called. It was so good, though. We had so much lobster. Well, we're right, we're right on the beach, so all the lobster comes in fresh. There's no freezers here, so nothing's fucking just sitting here. Everything comes in, so this place is like a day place, not like a night place. You can't come here at night and try to eat dinner. I'd actually never thought I'd eat that much lobster at one time in my life, and I did. I, like, got sick of it. I was like, damn, like, I don't want to eat any of this anymore. <laughs> it's so crazy. Real niggas do real things. You're going up for guys. What's that? You were eating it wrong. No. What would we do wrong? Yeah. What do we do the wrong? Pork? To try the lobster the way it used to be eaten here in the 50s, you have to try it with flour tortillas. He goes only with doing it right. The butter, yep. the beans, and the rice inside. Lobsterino. That, that's what. That's wow! What, wow. That's we did it all wrong. wrong. He was doing it wrong, no, no. right? <laughs> yeah, I did it wrong. You gotta do lobsterino. I saw you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, the party scene right behind the arch. There's a nice party scene over there. There's Sacas Bar where you guys could get, uh, you know, roll up a joint right on the table, get a beer. And then right around the corner, you know, you got your, uh, for all those single men out there, <clears throat> I'm not one of them, but I heard if you go left right past that bar, you can find yourself with some very nice women. Go to Hong Kong. <laughs> well, you can't film inside a strip club, but you can film at Cocoa Beach in Rosarito. I know you guys are not dancing right now. <laughs> what the hell? We belong here. Skateboarders belong in Tijuana. It's not a global skateboarding destination, and I can't believe that. In our quest to find cities that support the skateboarding lifestyle, TJ ticks every single box. Yet somehow, its potential is mostly untapped and unknown. It's only a few hours away from the most traveled to city in the world for skateboarding, and maybe that's why. It's like a busted up carnival across the street from Disneyland. It's hardly safe, definitely sketchy, half the price and twice the fun. I guess it depends on what you're into. And I'm into carnivals and carnies and Tijuana. I mean, I've already made plans to go back and skate and party and eat and live as and like a skateboarder, and it's not gonna cost me shit. If you haven't been to Tijuana, you should consider it. Especially if you're the kind of skateboarder who prefers carnivals over Disneyland. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened, but it did.